Hello and welcome. This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more City Skylines, returning to Spin City, where every intersection is a roundabout. So I was looking at some things. First off, we're waiting for more residential areas to build in here. And as a matter of fact, I might as well queue up some more of that, as we do have some homes in here. There we go. But I was taking a look at the traffic situation, noticing it's quite bad here. And I was also taking a look at public transport, and I just realized something. I was thinking about doing tram lines, but I realized by looking at the roads and what I have to work with, that's actually going to be quite difficult with the roundabout idea. So if I come back over to roads... There's no way for highway or even, uh, well, normal roundabouts, like for instance, there's no one-way streets that can also use tram tracks. For instance, we've got four-lane roads, so this is two-direction traffic with a tram line. That's not what I want. Uh, there's no way for the tram line to actually run along the roundabout. So, as far as I can tell, the only real way to do this is if I come in here to the tram line, there are tram tracks that are separate. They're not part of the road. And I would have to, okay, let's say this is a tram line here. What I'd have to do is I'd have to take a uh, tr independent tram track and bridge it over to the other side. Now I could do this underground to help out a little bit, but that's going to make things very complicated. It's going to really eliminate a lot of the used space here because pretty much everything on this corner is going to have to go. It's still possible, but I don't know if I really like it. Uh, I'm going to have to think about it, but I, that's something I've kind of realized. But in any case, um, let's take a look at doing something about the traffic situation over here. And I think... Well, uh, first I'm going to turn, turn this off. Now, I don't have really any stop traffic. At least I don't think so. Let's just watch this for a second. So, yeah, these guys are coming in. This is where the main bad traffic is right here. Now, they are stopping every so often. I guess it's probably because oncoming traffic. And theoretically, they shouldn't be stopping. They should just be coming right on like, like they did here. But I guess traffic is... Uh, built up enough here that they're there it's causing them to stop and oh this is quite a bit of build up that's actually what i was saying i wasn't sure was happening so yeah this is bad so what i'd like to do i guess we can have time go while we do that well actually how are we doing on the residences all right we still have stuff to build in it looks like we still have some industrial demand here, so why don't I go ahead and fill some of that in? Okay. And then we'll we'll address the uh, oop, traffic over here. So one problem might be that trucks trying to come into this, res uh, this industrial area are going through here rather than uh, through here because they don't have the ability to go that way. So what I'm going to do is build a roundabout right here and then let's go ahead and keep having the habit of uh, pausing when i don't want to go ahead and upgrade it and then we're going to also grab the four lane now at this point if i'm not going to do the tram tracks i could be doing the decorative trees i don't see a reason why not and then we'll also upgrade this, and then we'll grab straight line and do that. Now, it's kind of a waste of money if we end up going the tram track uh, route anyway, but I think that's probably unlikely. Ooh, we've got a building, we got a bulldoze there. Unfortunately, the stores are still a little bit of an issue. All right, so hopefully this causes tra traffic to reroute. It's also possible that this intersection just has too much going on. And these are just too many streets coming in here. I mean, it makes our usage of the roads maybe more efficient, but I think one way to maybe solve this is, what do we have here zone-wise? We have stores. Maybe get rid of the stores because there's a lot of traffic parked on the side of the street. Get rid of the stores. 
and then go from there. Yeah, okay, let's do that. So I'm going to dezone this. There we go. Dezone all of this. And hopefully this will help. See, I don't have as much problem with traffic stopping here, but considering this is such a major... Ooh, we've got a landfill full. All right, well, what are our other landfills like? We got one here and one here. Uh, first, let's turn off zoning. All right, 2%, 1% full. 53% full and then totally full. All right, I'll go ahead and empty this out. The question is, when do we get incineration plants? Oh, okay, that's probably the next step that we are going for. Okay, I'm not too worried about that then. We'll empty it out for now. But all I'll do is make it transfer to the other two landfills. All right, so this is going to make us lose a lot of our shopping. But it should stop these places here from freaking out on us saying, oh, we don't have customers because we just took care of all these shops. And eventually these cars that are parked on the side of the street will go away. At least they should. And hopefully... Things will get better as far as traffic goes. Because this is bad. This is real bad. We just gotta uh, let uh, time pass and take care of that stuff. How are we doing on residences over here? I guess we can go ahead and speed up time as well. Alright, so I'll go ahead and fill out this area here. And... Looks like we can get away with filling out probably that area as well. Okay, and the industrial area looks like it's been filled out. So I'm going to go ahead and queue this, although this is kind of risky because we might not have enough workers. Oop, we got a bulldoze in a building. See, actually right now, I have more shopping zoning drawn out than we actually need, which is one of the reasons why we're having such a hard time. hard time with uh, these shops staying open. Alright. Looks like we've cleaned up the traffic here. Let's take a look at that. I mean, it's still red, but it's actually not as bright red, I think. There's spots where it's not as red. And we don't have that backup clear up here. The, the cars are still parked on the side of the street for whatever reason. All right, well, uh, that's something we're gonna, just going to have to keep an eye on as time goes by. And I'll go ahead and zone the rest of this up. Okay, industrial continues to work okay. I'm just going to go ahead and zone this up too. For now. Now, it's saying we have more shop demand, but considering the problems we've been having... Ooh, this is all messy. You know what I'm going to do here? I'm going to dezone some of this. Let the shops kind of disappear. And then re rezone it. Because I don't like the messiness here. There, that should be better. And we've got areas over here that we can zone. And honestly, we can use this new space over here if we wanted to. Granted, I don't have water hooked up. Yeah, I know we need parks. That's probably something I should get on. Uh, the other thing I want to check real quick, though, is electricity. Okay. All right, so parks. It's something I've been neglecting. Probably need to do that. Uh, I'm trying to remember what's probably the most cost-effective thing here. We've got playgrounds and parks. All right, so parks. Playground. Park. Alright. If I put a park... Oops. 
playground in here. Trying to cover as much area as I can. While at the same time taking out as little, a few residences as, as possible. I'm going to do that, I think. That fills in a lot of this area with a park. Okay, and then I'm going to need to rezone some of this. Or I guess it's rezoned as good as it's going to get. All right. So there's park number one. Park number two. I think I already have some services and stuff here. So we'll just knock out the rest of these probably residences here. And put a park there. And that will do it for now. It's at least something. That would cause a lot of places to upgrade. Ooh, we've got some trash problems over here. Okay. Alright, you can stop emptying and start taking. Hopefully we get up to the 7,500 before our trash becomes too much of a problem. Otherwise, I'm going to have to build another landfill, which I don't really want to have to do. I'm going to go ahead and put that zoning in. And then some of this. Okay. Now it's possible with this industry demand that's going on right now. That they want more modern industry. Although this looks like it filled up pretty nicely. So what I'll do... So I'll just fill in this area with industry. Okay. And then we also have some shopping demand. I don't really know what to think about that. Because as we've seen in the past. I mean. What's, what's the problem we're having with these shops? They keep having all kinds of problems. Like for instance these guys. Not enough educated workers. Well, this is causing me to have to bulldoze them constantly, which is annoying, but they say they have shopping demand, so I guess I will listen. And by listen, I mean zone in all this stuff. Alright, so I put a little bit of industry up there. They should have water and everything that they need. Electricity, we're okay for now. Um, and resource wise, we still have all this area that we could farm in. So, probably want to come down here and build another roundabout. So, let's do that. Roughly about here. And then grab my. Actually, I want to do upgrades first. And should I upgrade this to the sound barrier highway? Eh, maybe later. And then... Four lanes. Great. Do there. All right. It's probably about time I filled in this area. So, 
I'm going to bulldoze this. And this. We'll kind of figure out how we're going to do the roundabouts here. So they're probably not going to be perfectly aligned. Let's say it's about... Like that. And then a bulldoze this and this. And then we'll upgrade. I guess we can have time go by slowly here. Those are basic roundabouts. Let's hook up the area with some water infrastructure for now. This whole area is good farmland, so I want to farm in here. And I think I'm going to connect this roundabout to that roundabout. So we're going to do like a loop here. First, I'm going to upgrade this. I'm going to grab Curve Street. Draw it out. About where it looks like it lines up. something like that. And we've got all this nice farmland to work with. Maybe I should have put a roundabout here. Because then I could draw a line that goes across here. You know what I'm going to do instead, though? I'm going to grab this. Alright, well, I want a roundabout. And I want it roughly in the middle of these two. I'm going to get rid of all of this. Then I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it to highway. And then we're going to grab when the roundabouts go all funky when you build off of them. And that. Okay, so this is going to be our farmland. And I can even do like a line that comes off here. water.
Alright. I think that looks nice. Now it's zoning time. We'll start with these two bits. And let me make sure they're in the right district. So, ideally, we want everything on this side within here to be farm. Little bit much there. I guess we can go ahead and extend that into into here. All this is good farmland. Okay. That's good for now. Now that we have all that taken care of, oh, actually it has to grow in first. Let's go ahead and start getting more residential areas queued. I'm going to rezone this because I don't think that zoned properly the first time. All right. And there's my first dilemma. I was about to say, I don't have any fire services or anything over here. Of course, unfortunately, I also don't have any money. Let's go ahead and take some look at some loans here. Oh, I don't unfortunately have the ability to take any loans right now, so I guess you're just gonna burn. Oh, here they come. So there's still coverage, it's just kind of crappy. Takes them a while to get there. Okay. Are these houses still here? All right, finally. Zone. Having bigger residences is better. Obviously. How are our cemeteries doing? Okay. There's another one somewhere around here. There it is. And trash is okay, it looks like. Okay. We're having some power issues. Yep, we are. Alright, it's time for more power generation. Oh wait, I don't have money for that either. Well, that's gonna be a problem. I'm more than likely going to pick up an oil power plant here if I have the cash to do it. I mean, it's quite expensive, but it gives me three times the power output of this at a discount. It also requires a different resource than coal, so... Now, I know I can do an power usage edict here that will help with power, but at the same time, when you do that, it plummets your daily uh, or weekly cash income. Just as an example of that, I'm going to go ahead and start with that. So we'll 
Watch what happens to my cash and income. I mean, that will take care of... Did I bulldoze the wrong building? Whoops. So power situation is not so bad. But look at my cash. Lost a thousand and a half already. And, it, and it's still going down. It would be going down faster if I was going faster. Still going down. Still going down. Yeah, we're going to start losing money. See, that's why I don't do that policy. Okay, well... I guess it's time to start... doing some more farmland, huh? And homes. We can always queue more of that up. Alright, so what I'd like to do is get services down here going. Uh, but I want the better services. First off, I want a hospital. That's 65 grand. That's expensive. I want uh... Yeah, I know. We were out of power. I got that. I'm also running out of water as well. Alright, well... We're just going to have to be patient, I think. I'm so close to that 7,500 that I'm looking for as far as residences go. But power issues is obviously going to curb some of that. I'm just going to keep an eye on this stuff. If it ever really becomes a serious problem, I'll go ahead and put something in to give me power, but... I'm just waiting for the 40 grand I need. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and zone this as well. I mean, I know I'm putting more power demands on myself by doing this, but... we can get to seven and a half thousand, that will alleviate a lot of my problems because I get money every time I get to one of these, so. Industry demand remains high. Okay, we're almost able to afford the oil plant. There it goes. Okay, time to get it. Okay, oil, oil, oil. Oh, it's 50,000. Okay, well, I guess we're waiting a little bit longer. Well, this this isn't necessary, is it? Road maintenance. Road maintenance services boost roads to allow even higher speeds. Roads with no boost work normally with maximum speed. Oh, okay.
I did not know that. That must have been one of the things. I thought that was for clearing snow, but I guess I'm wrong. All right, well, I'll have to keep that in mind for the future. All right, well. Really, really close. Population-wise, to where we need to be. Still a couple places where they can fill out. In here, over there. People are still coming in. We're not far away. But I think this is a good point, actually, to put a cut in the video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner, signing out.